Hey everybody, welcome back to the Call of Duty Geek. Now I know you're all stoked about the upcoming title for Call of Duty. If you aren't, then why are you here on a Call of Duty channel? Hey, just kidding. Everybody is welcome whether you're just getting into the game or if you've been playing since the first game. Either way, welcome in. Today we're going to go over the 5 weirdest rumors about Call of Duty 2020. So buckle your seatbelts and hang on for these weird rumors. Number 5 title. So before the game was officially announced in August, there were a ton of rumors about what the game was going to be called. This wouldn't be the first game without Black Ops in the title. What would be interesting though is to see how it would change the game. Black Ops games are fast paced rather than focusing on the tactical gameplay and community aspect. So either way we have seen both types of games. There was also a rumor that it was going to be called Call of Duty Vietnam. Even though we all had a strong link that it was going to be set during the Cold War, but have a strong focus in Vietnam. Number 4. Developer. There was no release of who the developer was going to be. Activision usually rotates the developer for each game, so without that announcement we assumed that they would be switching up the developer rotations. Now whether this is because of the current situation with the pandemic or other reasons was never really discussed, so we were unsure if it was going to be Treyarch, Sledgehammer Games, or Infinity Ward. This title was supposed to go to Sledgehammer Games, but with tension in the company, ended up going to Treyarch instead. Number 3. The Vibe. There have been a lot of rumors about what the game was going to look like. It's said to be much greedier than Modern Warfare. With the game's rating, is it concerning to have a grittier game? So rumors about the vibe and rating have been flying rampant through the internet. So hopefully we get the Call of Duty vibes from the game without an explosion of complaints on the web saying how inappropriate it is for kids. What you really need to know about this game is, number one, it's an incredibly popular game. Mm -hmm. The first, the original sold about 13 million titles, and it's a really violent game. So the real issue is, how old is the person who's playing it? It's a very well-made game. It'll, it will fly off the shelves. Number two. Easter Eggs There said to have been two Easter Eggs about the new title revealed in Call of Duty Warzone. Players reported seeing a banner that says Know Your History. This led us to believe that the game was going to be a historical event. The problem with this is that there are several games that follow historical events, so this vague hint could have been anything. The second banner that players would see is a little bit more of a hint. In Russian text it would say Doom to repeat it. So between the two hints we can theorize of historical conflicts involving Russia. This is how players were trying to figure out the new title. The disaster is coming closer and closer. The danger is real. Number 1. Reboot. This is one of the rumors that a lot of people fear to be true. They were saying that the new title wouldn't be a new game at all but instead just a reboot. And though we love reboots of games to see the improvements and new content in an old setting, we really wanted a new game. The rumor was saying that the game would be based on Black Ops but in a different reality, implementing the concept of multiple realities and multiple choices. This would be really cool to eventually have, but I'm glad we're still going to see Cold War instead. Now, buddy, do it, man. Thanks for watching everyone, and if you heard a weird rumor about Call of Duty 2020, drop it in the comments down below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe so you never miss new content from the Call of Duty Geek. See you next time. Uh, uh.